And now let's see how we can create and attach customer managed policy. Remember these lines very carefully. First, by default, IAM users don't have permissions to do anything. So by default, IAM user does not have any permission to do anything. And when you attach a policy to the user, the user actually inherits all of the access permissions that are associated with that policy. Once the policy is attached, you can sign in as the user and test the policy. So this is basically the idea. So by default, IAM user does not have a permission. And if you attach a policy to the user, the user will actually inherit all the access permission that are associated with the policy. So once the policy is attached, you can then sign in as the user and test the policy, whether you're able to access the resource or not. Now let's see an example here on how we can allow any user to access AWS Management Console with read-only permissions. The first step is we create the policy. Here we create the customer managed policy that allows any attached user to sign in to the console. Just that. Simple. Once we have created the policy, the second step is to attach the policy. As I have already told you, when you attach a policy to the user, the user will inherit all of the access permissions that are associated with that policy. Now, we created the policy and we have already attached it to the user as well. Hence, the last step for us is to test the access. So once the policy is attached, the user can sign in as the IAM user and test the policy. Now, let's see the actual policy. Here you can see we have allow effect and the resource is star and the action that are provided here are generate credential report, I am get star and I am list star. And with these three policies, the user will be able to log into AWS console with read only permissions because it will not be able to create any policy or update any policy. It can just list and read the policies that we have and it will be able to log in and view the policy and the permissions itself, but not update them or create them. And it will also be able to generate the credential report. So this is one of the ways we can actually create and attach the customer managed policy to a user.